Welcome to this tutorial on Amazon Polly. Amazon Polly is essentially the opposite of Amazon Transcribe. While Transcribe converts speech to text, Polly converts text to lifelike speech. It uses deep learning models to produce natural sounding voices, enabling you to build applications that can speak. Let's try a quick example. Using Polly's generative voice engine, this sentence will be spoken out loud with a realistic, human-like voice. AWS launched in 2006 as the first major cloud computing platform. You can also choose from multiple voice options, for instance, let's try a male voice. AWS launched in 2006 as the first major cloud computing platform. Polly goes beyond just reading text. Let's explore some of its more powerful features. First is custom pronunciation with lexicons. You can fine-tune how words are pronounced by uploading a lexicon file. This is useful when you want AWS to be spoken as Amazon Web Services or S3 to be pronounced as Simple Storage Service. Let me upload a lexicon file now. This is the file containing AWS and S3. Lexicons are applied in a top-down order, meaning the first rule in the list takes priority. Now, when we run the same example, Amazon Web Services launched in 2006 as the first major cloud computing platform. Polly says Amazon Web Services instead of AWS. Let's now disable the lexicon to go back to the default pronunciation. The other one is SSML. SSML which is speech synthesis markup language lets you add more control over how Polly speaks using special tags. Here's an example using a pause. Hello, how are you? The break tag introduces a pause or silence between words or sentences. It helps create a more natural, conversational tone. Let's try a few more SSML examples. Polly will now spell out AWS letter by letter. We are using AWS services. This tag is useful for acronyms, codes, or identifiers. Interpret as a date. Today is April 8, 2025. Polly reads the date in a human-friendly way. The MDY format ensures the correct interpretation as month slash day slash year. As you can notice in the examples, SSML allows you to control. Add natural pauses. Spell out characters, interpret as individual letters. How dates, numbers, and abbreviations are spoken. In the example so far, we use the generative engine, which is the most advanced and expressive. It produces speech that sounds incredibly realistic, almost indistinguishable from a human. Polly also offers other engine types. Standard, the basic engine that produces natural sounding speech. Neural, more human-like than standard, with improved prosody and tone. Longform, optimized for reading longer texts like articles or blogs. Offers the most natural flow for extended content. Each newer engine brings more realism and nuance to speech synthesis. And that's a wrap. You've now seen how Amazon Polly works, from basic usage to advanced customization with lexicons and SSML. With Polly, you can transform static text into dynamic, human-like speech for a wide range of applications.